This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 645, How to Explain Your Career as a Content Creator to Your Parents, and Four Ideas That Will Help Content Creators Overcome Imposter Syndrome, both by Greg Audino with Vibly.io. And I'm Dan, I am your host and narrator here, and today I've actually got two posts for you. They're on the shorter side, so we combine them into one episode. And with that, we're gonna get right to it as we start optimizing your life. How to Explain Your Career as a Content Creator to Your Parents by Greg Audino with Vibly.io. Every professional creator knows how difficult it can be to explain what they do for a living. Because this is a new, booming industry, Explaining it to older generations can be even more challenging. Add the desire to be accepted by your parents to the mix, and you have a recipe for tears and confusion. So how do you tell your parents what you do for a living, and better yet, sell them on it? Anytime we need to have a difficult conversation with someone, it helps to keep their values in mind. What do they care about? How do they pursue it? And how can we bridge that gap while still respecting our own needs? Every parent is different, but let's look at some ways to explain a career in content creation that will land with many of them. One, reassure them that you're surviving. Many parents hope that at the least, their children have their bases covered. It's much easier for a parent to support their child's dream if they know that their child is still making ends meet, having a social life, and showering. Think about your responsibilities outside of creation and remind your parents that you're on top of them. If those responsibilities are valued by your parents, even better. If you've consciously abandoned responsibilities that are important to them but not important to you, it's up to you if you want to have a separate talk about those differences. Two, compare it to building a business. Content creation might be new, but business building is not. Though not all parents have the entrepreneurial spirit, you are building a business, and they may be able to better understand if you present it that way. Explain to them how content creation is both profitable and helpful to people, the same way that any business would be. Remind them that this is simply a new way of doing business, thanks to the rise of technology, and that you're at the forefront of what doing business will look like in the future. And three, show them the workload. Of course, parents want to see their children succeed, but more than that, they want to see their children putting forth effort and passion, rather than being lazy and waiting for something to happen. They will really associate content creation with business building once you show them all the work that goes into it. If you feel it's appropriate, share your routine. Show them the hours upon hours that go into audience metrics, camera setup, brand deals, scripts, uploading, audience engagement, reviews, the way you educate yourself, and more. Why this conversation is beneficial to your career. Helping your parents understand your career is not only good for them, it's good for you. It's nice to clear the air and hopefully strengthen your bond with them and feel supported. Even if they don't respond favorably, you've spoken your truth and made an effort to better understand them. You've also reminded yourself of all that goes into serious content creation. When trying to explain it to people you care about, you might identify a few of your blind spots and realize ways in which you could be putting in more of an effort. Allow a conversation like this to push you to do your best work for yourself and for your loved ones. Four Ideas That Will Help Content Creators Overcome Imposter Syndrome by Greg Audino with Vibly.io. As the amount of content creators continues to grow, so too does the risk for imposter syndrome. More competitors with more ideas means more people to compare ourselves to and more opportunities to see how we're coming up short. Let's look at four ways to shift our thinking about imposter syndrome so that we can better manage it and keep creating in the long run. One there's always somebody you can teach. Instead of focusing on those who you can't help, reframe your thinking to focus on those you can help. Even if you don't have the tools to help the masses, you likely have the tools to help somebody. You're allowed to feel anxious over this, but when you let your anxiety about not being able to help more people prevent you from helping the ones that you can, you're missing chances to give back and get better. Don't be afraid to be honest about this with your followers either. Being upfront about the ways that you can and are trying to improve is great for building trust and calming your nerves. Two, you're still new. Content creation is a new business, and most experienced creators are still young and just at the beginning of their working lives. Whatever your niche is, remember that it's natural to feel nervous at the beginning because there is still so much growing to do. This feeling is a sign of humility and willingness to learn, 
which are great things. Three, don't fake it until you make it. When we try to fake it until we make it, we are telling ourselves that we aren't enough right now. There shouldn't be a destination we're trying to get to as creators. Why? Because any top performer gets to where they are because they're always learning and making adjustments. There is no shame in changing paths, but to succeed at the highest level, you want to be able to say, I'm proud of where I am right now, but I still want to improve. And four, is it really imposter syndrome? If you're finding it difficult to apply the previous three ideas, ask yourself if you might suffer from general feelings of inadequacy instead of imposter syndrome in particular. Some helpful questions might be, am I dissatisfied with other big parts of my life? Am I constantly defending myself? Do I often tell lies to protect myself? Do I allow myself to listen and learn when arguing with people or do I always have to be right? If you answered yes to several of these questions, then you may want to talk with a counselor about how to better understand these feelings and work with them. Pivot your thinking to beat imposter syndrome. Just like anything else, imposter syndrome comes with good and bad. We all have a negativity bias that makes it easier to focus on the downsides, but we can choose to challenge that. If you're not making the effort to pay just as much attention to the people you have helped, the skills you have learned, and the ways you're excited to improve, you're not giving yourself a fair chance to be satisfied with your work. You just listened to the posts titled How to Explain Your Career as a Content Creator to Your Parents and Four Ideas That Will Help Content Creators Overcome Imposter Syndrome, both by Greg Audino with Vibely.io. And thank you to Greg. Greg Audino is a Rhode Island-born certified life coach and graduate of Goucher College. As an actor, he has had principal roles on shows like Westworld and NCIS. As of 2020, he became the host of Optimal Relationships Daily here in the Optimal Network. Uh, On that show, he reads content to you covering all types of relationships and then also Optimal Parenting Daily more recently. So definitely check those out. You can always search for Optimal Living Daily in your podcast app to find all of our podcasts. But that's gonna do it for today's episode. I thank you for being here and listening all the way through, and I'll be back with you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.